Now you've established your left and right lateral. Okay, you can do all your work here. Now, because you've stocked in, you've collected enough veg to bring with you. Okay, that's why it's, it's a little bit better to bring an oversized bag mm -hmm. than one that's too small because you can load that up with veg. Yeah. And you don't want to collect a bunch of veg from the area that you're at when you're setting up your FFP. You want to bring that in if you can, mm -hmm. okay? Sometimes you find yourself in a situation that you have to do that. So if you've got to break branches, always break the branches towards the OP. Say I got a bush in front of me and I've got to, I got to create a loophole, which we're going to talk about next. I'm going to try to break everything this way. I'm not going to break it this way or this way because they'll pick that up. They'll see it, break them towards and cut and then bring it down in that manner. Got it. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then if you've got a few of these, you can start building up your, your FFP, okay? Now, we know our target is pretty much center of this bush somewhere, okay? Can't really see it because they can't see me and I can't see them. I might have to make something called a loophole, okay? So general rule, it's, and it's only a general rule, if there's a branch that I'm gonna hit that's bigger than my pinky, it's probably gonna change the bullet path, okay? It's gonna make my bullet go somewhere else. Mm. I don't really know the actual size. I look at the branches that I have in front of me. So like the dangerous is from shooting this, you got all those real thick. Yep. You gotta make sure you got a good bullet path. How do we do that? Do you look through your scope? Mm -hmm. If you see What's the height difference yeah. between your muzzle and your, yeah, and your barrel? You have to consider that. You have yeah. to consider that, okay, right? You may have to go in with your veg fan, move into your FFB and trim away some branches to make sure you have, you gotta be real careful with that because you don't wanna trim too much away, mm -hmm. you know? And if there's just too many big branches in the way, maybe you gotta find a, another spot inside that, that FFP. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of stuff. Cause I've seen guys at 150 yards miss a 20 by 40 target. Hit a branch. Didn't have a good bullet path. So how do we make sure we got a good bullet path? Make the space, make the hole. <laughs> right, you can use the loophole theory uh, if you know the size of the hole. Or you can take your bolt out, look through your barrel and make sure that it's, it's set up. You can, see, yeah. you can see through it and you don't see anything in there, you're, you're probably good. You know and you would do that already clearly after you've established Hope, ideally, if you put it on a tripod or something where it's you, kind of stable. Everybody's got their own routine. Once there's, uh, you should have a set routine, and you only get this after you've done a few of these. What your routine is in your hide, in your FFP. What what are you going to work on first? How are you going to get there? Main thing is what you don't want to do if you don't have a loophole. You don't want to spend two hours building an FFP and no loophole. So you got to establish that loophole somewhere early in the process, because if you got to abandon the spot. Again, time management drill, right? I just wasted 30 minutes on this. I've got 15 minutes to get my shot off. Mm -hmm. that, that ain't a whole lot of time, yeah. right? See how slow, how long do you think it took you to just do this? A while, and it wasn't even done uh, well. <laughs> wasn't that well, right? So it yeah. took you about, it's a slow methodical process. Now, not to say that people haven't done it faster. I've, I've done stocks where I roll up on a bush, and I'm exhausted and I lay down and I look through the bush and I'm like, oh, OP. And I, psh. but then there's times where I've had to actually build up a bush behind a bush. Mm -hmm. And it took an hour to do that. Thank God I got there as quick as I did. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So in one of these stocks, which you're gonna do eventually, and so time management, so you gotta figure out when something's not good and what's something is good, okay? Sometimes trying to force it to happen is not the right thing either. 